Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this really gorgeous red ombre set, perfect for the holidays. I'm so excited to show you, so let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out with my nail tips. They're already ready and cut down. These are actually, I believe these are the Tulip Nail Supplies um extra extra long full cover chips but i did cut them down to a medium length kind of like a medium almost long but not long um and i'm going to be using my nude gel polish in nb19 from nails blinked supply i'll put that name down below so you guys um can see it because i don't know sometimes i talk too fast but i'm going to be using a few coats of this on every single nail and um this is going to be our base for our ombre so i'm going to be doing ombre on the thumb middle finger and pinky and i always tell you guys to do your ombre um before you do the other nails because sometimes the ombre will get um on your other nails if you design them first if that makes sense so always do your ombre nails first and then i'm grabbing my little sponge and my red gel polish and i'm also going to be using some of this color cozy cashmere by eye gel beauty the red i'm using is i think i think it's called raspberry by um dnd &D. so this is a really good color for ombre because it's super easy so i'm putting one layer down on the sponge and then i'm going ahead and i'm sponging on one layer onto the nails um with ombre it's very gradual you have to go uh, layer by layer and i don't remember how many layers i used but if you guys watched my last most recent ombre tutorial i did need a lot of layers but that was only because that color was so light with a red like this you don't need as much layers just because um the more pigmented the gel is the easier it'll be to ombre it or not easier but the better the pigment will be um so with red it's kind of easier the only part that's hard with red is actually getting the blend so you want it to be as seamless as possible i try to get it to look like acrylic as best as i can so that you can't really see that harsh line like as you can see right now you can definitely see a harsh line you can see like the red and then the nude well actually not really you can a little bit but that's what um blending on the sponge helps with you grab the nude and then you kind of blend it on here i think i end up grabbing a darker nude just because this nude is a little bit too light i don't really remember really that well but i think i go in with ruffle trim by eye gel beauty as well as the nude um or I mean for the nude just so that it's a little bit darker and I'm just doing layer on layer um, I did speed it up just because it goes really slow but I keep showing you guys in between um, all you need to do is just paint on the gel it's super easy you paint on the gel and then you paint on the nude so here I'm trying to do some of the NB19 color just to make it a little more pink and then you kind of blend it a little bit on the sponge you don't need to blend it super perfect I'm literally just doing it super quick because it's gonna blend on the nail either way and then I'm sponging it on and as you can see the color is already so pigmented and this is only like my third or fourth layer usually I do like up to like seven to eight layers so um you can literally even leave it like this I'm just a perfectionist and I'm going to be taking some of this darker red as well this one is called um oh my gosh you guys I don't remember I think it's 429 by D&D I don't remember what the name of it is though I completely forgot but it's a little bit of a darker one I think it's called Boston um boston massachusetts red or something from dnd but i like this one because it added a little bit more darkness to the tips of the nails but i started noticing that this red specifically is a little more pink toned more like a magenta red but you can't really tell um until it's thinned out so you can definitely see the pink in a little bit starting to kind of blend between the nude and red color so um i end up going in with more of that lighter orangey red just to kind of get rid of that pinkness a little bit it just depends on the tones and the colors you're trying to go for but um yeah this was a freestyle set as well you guys so i am freestyling this and i am going in with the red again and as you can see this red just really added a pop of like that beautiful like cherry color i really wanted a little bit of a darker um tip so i love the way this looks and i wanted to show you guys that it is really easy to blend red with um, gel polish literally blending red with acrylic that's a nightmare oh my gosh I hate doing that 
and I'm sorry if I'm a little out of frame you guys I literally don't realize that I'm out of frame until like later in the video because sometimes I'm filming and I get so into what I'm doing I forget that I'm, my camera's even there like my phone so um yeah I am just doing it but if you see me a little out of frame it's probably just because I'm doing the second hand um my main purpose is just to show you guys how to do the design on like one hand but I know sometimes I mess up and then I get out of frame but this is what it's looking like it looks really good and then on this point, at this point, I think I'm only on my like fifth layer, to be honest, like fifth or sixth layer. And I was telling you guys in my last ombre video, if you didn't catch that one, that you don't need to cure um, like the full 60 seconds in between each layer because then you'll be sitting there forever, honestly. Um, I do like 30 seconds in between each layer. I just flash cure it because the layer is so thin. So you don't notice that it's so thin because you're going like you're seeing it get pigmented right in front of you. But the layers are super thin, you guys. Like, the sponge barely puts any color on there. Um, the only reason the red looks so pigmented is because it, like, stains the nail. If you think about it, like, it actually does stain it. So, um, that's why I, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. That you don't have to wait there, like, for the whole minute. Because then you're gonna, like, you know, take a lot of time to do one set. So you can kind of go through it and, um... Like, you don't have to cure it all the way, especially if you use a thinner gel polish. I noticed that DND gel polishes are perfect to ombre with, you guys. Like, literally, because their formulation is not too thick and it's not too thin. It's perfect. It's right in the middle. So, um, it's a little more on the runny side, which is perfect for ombre because that's exactly what you need. Um, you need some a color that's pigmented, but not super thick, if you know what I mean like um for example nail addict la or madame glam gel polishes those are super super thick and really pigmented amazing colors but for ombre i did use one in my last video but i had to mix it with a little bit of this color from dnd just because it works best if it's a little bit thinner not watery but like a little thinner in consistency so right here I already put my nude down on the other nails and I was kind of grabbing this reflective glitter because I didn't know what I was going to do on these nails. Honestly it was a complete freestyle. I just had a little bit of inspo from this other set that I did before. Um, my customer said that she really liked that last set that I did so I was kind of trying to replicate it but make it like a little bit different. I don't know I didn't make it that different to be honest. I wanted to add more rhinestones but I really wanted it to just look really gorgeous. Like honestly I just wanted it to be really beautiful and I think I achieved that. So I'm grabbing my Beatles rhinestone gel and I'm going to be putting it all over the nails kind of where I think I'm going to put some rhinestones and i honestly just went for it i kind of freestyled it like i said and the ombre really comes together when you put the top coat on it ends up looking so beautiful um it's honestly it depends what kind of sponge you're using if you get a lot of bubbles and also what kind of gel i haven't really got any bubbles lately you guys in my first ever ombre tutorial i told you guys that you can buff the nail if you do get bubbles which is something you can definitely still do but i no longer do that because if you have a really nice thick top coat um the bubbles will literally go away on their own and you won't even be able to see it so i really love that and the eye gel beauty top coat is the best when doing an ombre it literally smooths out your whole nail and i'm obsessed with that top coat it's kind of sucks because like i always talk about this but i don't like eye gel beauty as like a company just because their customer service is so 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 like horrible like so horrible and um i don't know i kind of it just kind of sucks but um and it's not even like their shipping time or anything. It's just like them themselves. Like they're so like rude all the time. I don't know. Like anytime I've emailed them, they were really rude and stuff. So that kind of sucks. And I love their product. So I'm still going to purchase it. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. And um, I'm just grabbing these little rhinestones. I got these from AliExpress. These little, um, I think they're called like cubic zirconia or something. The red ones. So I'm going to be linking those ones down below. Hopefully they still have them because I got them a super long time ago. But I'm kind of just grabbing different stones. And then the little empty heart ones. I do um, sell those on my nail supply Instagram. So if you wanted to check those out. But I'll definitely be linking the other ones for you as well. And then I'll link some of these. Um, the little stones as well. I got this tiny, tiny, tiny ones from. I think. I don't remember. I think it was either Tulip Nail Supply. Or sometimes I get these big um, flame ones from Amazon as well. So I'll just link different ones down below for you guys. And I really try to get like the best quality gems as best as I could. You guys, I'm kind of sad that Swarovski doesn't exist anymore for nail techs. It kind of sucks, but 
sometimes I look back at like pictures of other Swarovski nails that either I've done or someone else has done and they're so pretty there's nothing like that type of sparkle so it kind of sucks that they don't exist but um, these little red gems I for sure got on AliExpress. I'll link these down below and they're actually really high quality. I think they're glass crystals. I'm not sure but I know for sure that these little small ones are glass crystals so I'll link those as well and they're just super tiny. I love using really small stones for bling placement like um, size SS6 or SS4. Those are perfect for shorter nails and bling placement to look like to make your bling placement look more um like intricate i guess you could say and make it look like you really spent hours on it because it i mean i do spend like hours on these sets but you know what i mean like it makes it look really detailed which is what i love Okay, you guys, and then for the ring finger, that's where I'm adding the big heart gem with the red. Um, I really, really, really love these. These are so pretty. If you look up, like, cubic zirconia on AliExpress, a whole bunch of stuff comes up. So if you wanted to, like, check that out, you could. I just hate it because it takes months to ship. Like, that's the only thing is, like, sometimes I want stuff and then I'm like, but do I want to wait this long? And then sometimes I don't and sometimes I don't care. So it just depends. Um, but yeah i'm really really obsessed with these they're already looking so beautiful and the little pear-shaped stone i did get from tulip nail supplies as well so i highly recommend those they're so pretty super super sparkly i'm obsessed with them um literally it's like the best quality of gem that you can get that's not Swarovski so I highly recommend stuff like that I always get some from Zule's nail shop as well she has really pretty ones and then I saw that like blue streak uh crystals it has different ones now since um Swarovski is not out they did send me a message and said that Swarovski is available to only certain nail techs I guess or something like that like if you get authorized by them but you're not allowed to say that you're using Swarovski so I guess you're not allowed to do it anymore under the new ownership of um, the company or something I'm not really sure what's going on but yeah something like that and I am top coating my ombre nails with my eye gel beauty top coat as I mentioned and I always make sure to double clean the sides because I don't want the shape to get um like um I don't know how to explain it, like rounded or um like I don't want the top coat to kind of make lumps on the side of the nail. If you've had your top coat spill over and then you cure it on accident, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I hate when that happens. So I always make sure to clean off the excess with my little brush or I clean off all the top coat from the bristles and then I swipe it away and I go ahead and wipe the side of the nail so that it's um, all cleaned off so that I can go ahead and put it to dry. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be doing the pointer finger. I'm just going to be doing a little bling placement on here. I'll let you guys watch and I'll just talk. Um, how was your guys' Thanksgiving? Mine was really good. I made turkey, macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese and stuffing. And then 
what else did i make oh ham and some i ate lots of pie it was so good you guys i love pie so much like that's like my favorite part of thanksgiving and i made my stuffing from scratch and everything like that so i was really excited to do that and um I don't know you guys I didn't really get anything for Black Friday like there was good sales though for like the nail websites like all the nail supply stuff was literally almost every company had their stuff on sale and I ordered some stuff from Raya's Nails I think I just I only ordered like a few things because if you guys just saw the haul video I did I recently bought a whole bunch of stuff from Raya's Nails but she never has sales on her website so I really wanted to take advantage you guys if you didn't oh my gosh that sucks because literally I almost missed the sale too and I was like, oh my gosh, if I don't get something, I'm going to be mad because I always order from her and like, um, it's worth it, you know? It's worth it to just spend a little bit like at that moment to be able to use the sale because it's crazy. Like all the nail websites had stuff on sale for Cyber Monday and Black Friday. So um, I also saw that, you know, Couture did a 20% off and you guys... I don't know if he usually has sales or not. I think he usually does. Like if you scroll to the very bottom of the emails that they send you, it usually says like you can add like a code and it'll give you either a discount or I think like a free product or something. I just recently found that out. So if you guys order from Enel Couture a lot, go to your emails and try to scroll to the bottom of an email that Enel Couture sends you and you could see what I'm talking about. But um, they were having a sale and I'm so freaking mad you guys because I didn't know like I didn't even check that website and I missed that sale and I really needed some new tips. I needed some long square tips and um, I wanted to get some coffin and stuff like that and you guys I literally missed it so it sucks so bad but he's like doing this um, one for like this week like the cyber week or something. I just got the email literally today like right now in the morning. And he's doing like 13% off or something. Like it's hella funny. It's like not even 15%. It's 13%. So it's like so funny. But I think I'm going to order it at least with that sale. But anyways you guys I'm literally rambling. And all I'm doing here is filing the nails. Just making sure that they are nice and straight. And if you wanted to you can also paint the tips. I just prefer my... Um, shaping to be very very crisp and sharp so I prefer not to and I try to file all I mean to dust off as much dust as I can but sometimes it gets hard and this is the final result you guys they're so gorgeous I really hope you guys like this video it was kind of chatty I was kind of rambling I drank freaking shots of espresso because I had coffee and it's early in the morning but I hope you guys have an amazing day and don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you like this video bye